Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can benefit from poly editing tools in the edge mode. Let's start by selecting uh, a mesh that I already have. I'm going to go to the edge mode. The first two options is select loop and select ring. If you select this edge and click on select ring, you're going to select all the edges along this ring around the objects. So each edge, each face ha should have uh, four uh, edges and the opposite edge on the other side of the uh, face is going to be the next edge that we're going to select using this option. If you click here and then select loop, you're going to select a loop of edges which shows a connection of each edge in opposite side of the second face as a neighbor face. For example, here, as you can see, uh, the edge loop stops at this point. It means uh, we reached uh, to a, a vertex that doesn't have uh, four uh, edges around the connection. So here, the number of uh, edges uh, is three. So stops at this point the same way the other side. The second method to do that is double clicking on one edge is going to be uh, your uh, loop and hold down shift and double clicking on one edge is going to do uh, ring selection. If you double click here and Hold down control key and double click here. You're going to have two loops which are added to each other. As you can see, this one uh, follows the entire mesh around the object because uh, all of the faces uh, have four edges along these vertices. Let's try select border and select uh, all borders. Uh, since this uh, poly mesh is completely uh, convex and uh, there is no hole in it, I'm going to select uh, one of these edges, uh, one of these faces and delete it. If you go to the edge mode, select border, you, you can select border ID, for example, 0 or 1 and select border because we only have one border. So border ID of 1 means uh, nothing is selected and border of 0 means the only selection. So if you have two borders, I'm going to remove this, go to the edge mode. If you select all borders, you're going to select all the borders without uh, paying attention to the border ID. And if you just click here, I want to show you, if you click on border 0, select 1, you're going to select the first one. And if you click the second one and call it a border number 1, select, you're going to select the second one. So this is one way of uh, reaching borders and going through that uh, without much uh, trouble. So in this case, you can select uh, the edges of one border and click on fill border. It's going to fill the hole for you. So you're going to have a face. You can select a few edges, for example, two which are neighbor and around uh, on the border and then click fill border. You still can create one face for that. I'm going to undo this one by removing this. If you select this edge, uh, I'm going to deselect this. If you select one edge and select the other edge in the other side of uh, uh, the same open uh, edges, open border region, uh, you just, if you click on the fill border, nothing is going to happen because uh, whenever you select two edges, they must be neighbor of each other. Let's say you want to fill all the uh, borders in your mesh. You just click on the select all borders. So each separate groups of border is going to be selected. And if you click on fill border, each one is going to get filled automatically. So if you go to the face mode, click this one, move this, see that it's going to follow the rest of the mesh. So that's how we fill uh, open regions in the mesh. Another tool in Edge 
which is one of the most uh, useful uh, functionality is connect. If you select two edges in one face and click on connect, you're going to have uh, one connection, an extra edge along the center of your uh, face. You can go here and write the number of uh, segments that you want. So you can have multiple segments. So the rule is you should uh, select two edge in each face to be able to perform. So I can select this, I can select this and follow the path like this. So if I come here and stop here and then click connect, so you're going to have the same faces. So you can have multiple faces and the vertices here are part of this uh, new face. So for example, you can hold down shift and double click here. So you have a ring of selections here. You can hold down shift and control. So you can double click here and you added both of the selections together with ring and then click on connect. You can have one extra or even make it more. So another option in the edge mode is remove. The difference of remove and delete, if I click this and select this edge and press the delete key, all the faces that are connected to this uh, edge is going to get removed. So you can easily undo this with clicking by clicking uh, the cross uh, for that operator. But if I select this edge and click on remove, I'm going to delete this edge without removing uh, the face. So these two faces are going to get merged. Uh, something that uh, I've seen people uh, are asking, when you select these three edges, for example, if you click on remove, you still see the topology of the shape uh, is remained because we don't want to destroy the shape. That's, that's the benefit of using uh, uh, this remove so I can go to vertex mode and select these vertices which are left there for to keep the shape and topology and then you can remove those vertices if you don't need uh, remember that uh, if you select an edge like these three edges if you need to uh, remember the vertex that uh, are part of these edges, you just hold down control key and go to the vertex mode. Then the corresponding vertices are selected here. I think that's uh, all about uh, edges. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like the video and leave your comments. Thank you so much.